Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Happy Thanksgiving. And welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going over one of my favorite releases of the year. And at first, I thought it was a split. And then I kind of... I still don't know if it's a collaboration or it's considered a split. But... Bastard Noise... And Mers Bell. Oh my goodness. Retribution by all other creatures. Holy crap. This was a release I did not expect in 2022. And it's absolutely everything I possibly would want and honestly expected. From a Bastard Noise collaboration slash split. Especially with Murs Bell. Like, fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, everything about this release is just insane. Fuck humanity. Like, it's just pretty much... The whole entire, you know, mission behind this. Time is running out. Noise is music. And, you know, you gotta give heavy hails to the skull. That is bastard noise. And stand up against any form of animal abuse you witness at all costs. I actually left someone's house I was staying at in Austin, Texas because of the way they treated their pet dogs. It was fucked up and I was not cool with it and I moved out of there and into another friend's house. I just didn't, I couldn't be around that shit. Like, and then like I would try and be nice and like, you know, like let the dogs out. And the next thing I know, they're like pissing on the carpet and it's like, fuck. But yeah. People that fuck with animals, you're assholes. Like you're seriously the worst people. Like anyone that, you know, takes their anger out on an animal, like, you're a piece of shit. You're up there with, like, fucking, you know, scumbags that go to jail for, you know, messing with kids and stuff. Like, to me, you're on that same fucking scumbag level. But back to the release at hand, Retribution by All Other Creatures, again... I am not a vegetarian anymore. I was a vegan for about a month in the early 2000s. And back then, it was legit expensive and kind of hard to maintain a healthy vegan-based diet. Nowadays, you can do that shit with your eyes closed. You just need the discipline. And the discipline's the hardest part because sometimes... <laughs> You'll be at fuck, well, not anymore, because dollar menus, a lot of you might not even know what a dollar menu is, but now it's been a, a value menu for a couple years now. The days of the dollar menu are, are gone, but getting two of, you know, in my opinion, the gnarliest noise acts together is... Like, Merz Bell has a lot of collaborations and splits. The one with Boris is super gnarly. I really, again, I feel like Merz Bell, when they work with Full of Hell, that's when Full of Hell shine. And same with The Body. I feel like those two bands just, like, they should just combine and just call it a day. I understand, you know, Merz Bell in Japan, that would be hard and everything. But the other way around, I feel like it legit would be fucking sick. I mean, having, you know, 
Dave on drums and then having like the it would be cool as fuck if the body and full of hell just came together and that was you know well I'm sure they've toured and stuff but like again bastard noise just really coming out of nowhere with ridiculous vocals on here like just the vocal delivery holy shit it's fantastic like absolutely and if you're a fan of man is the bastard you to get into bastard noise. This is just a obvious, in my opinion, you know, step to make, but if you've never heard either one of these acts, you gotta get into it. the best man is the bastard though we're listening to bastard noise there is a difference and this is one of my babies right here the split capitalist casualties but just insane Never heard a noise release before? This one's. I think you might enjoy it until you get to uh, Zoo Noise Part 1 and 2. That's. That's a little bit gnarlier than. Some of the, um, well, the other songs on this release. And this is how human waste rolls is just ridiculous. But animals running human factory farms alongside Zoo Noise Part 1. Those two tracks alone are worth buying this. But, like, this is, I think, a double LP on vinyl i'm like 99 percent sure this is a double lp on vinyl it actually when i saw that relapse <laughs> release of this i was like whoa <laughs> like what the fuck and then i remembered like oh that they reissued like pulse demon and I, I forgot like back when release entertainment existed again some of you might not know relapse used to have this sub label called Release Entertainment, and that's where, like, more experimental releases would go. Like, early Dysrhythmia, I think, like, it's not 100% on Relapse, it's on, like, their sub-label. I know for a fact 27, the, the band's 27, they're fucking amazing, and I know for a fact the one album was released on release because I I mean I have a t-shirt downstairs from their tour with uh, Isis on Isis they were doing a 10 year anniversary run but again Bastard Noise and Merzbow together is just alone a ridiculous concept I should have done a little bit of research because I'm not sure if these two have worked together before. Because Merzbow has worked with countless other bands to where I legit, I, I can't even keep track of that stuff. It, it's kind of like how, you know, 
agaholics have like legit, you know, 420 splits. It's the same with like Merzbow, but it's always, you know, quality over quantity. And that's one of the things when it comes to, you know, just like noise in general. Like, sometimes less is more. Sometimes you just want that fucking wall of just sonic excess. And you build everything around that. But here, it's, you know, especially with, like, Bastard... Well, uh, no, I, I keep wanting to say Man is the Bastard. But, like, with the Bastard noise vocals, it's... So kind of like just surreal sounding, like it sounds like a fucking terrifying waking nightmare. And that's to me the way, you know, when it comes to making noise music, that's what I like to hear. I like that harsh, you know. As much as I like, you know, like, rhythmic shit, like, I really dig what God is War does, like, how it's kind of, it has, like a, like, a beat to it, and, like, it's just fucking super sick, and if he wanted to, he could just go straight into some, you know, wall noise, and just, yeah, he has the equipment, but his style is a lot different than what you're gonna find on Retribution by all other creatures. Because Bastard Noise and Merzbow do their own thing. And that's what is so awesome about the whole entire genre that is noise. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just these two do it better than... A large, I'm not going to say most, but a large percentage, you know, obviously are just influenced by these two projects. So them working together, in my opinion, has created a piece of noise music in 2022 that's just on a whole just other level and i'm pretty sure Merzbow did like five other splits this year and uh, i wish it, it's in the new issue of decibel they make a joke about it like top five Merzbow split slash collaborations of the year but uh this in my opinion and i haven't heard all the other you know, splits, but this one right here. Fuck. Yes. I'm gonna throw Zoo Noise on. And this is just, oh! Maximum volume yields maximum results. That's all I have to say about this. Like, it's just fucked. Oh, wait, so it, maybe it is a split and not a collab. I don't really know, but because I don't have the LP, this is kind of confusing, but not really. Side 1 and Side 2 were recorded, mixed, and edited, and produced by Michael Rosen at Speed Seaman Club Factory in Sun Valley, California in the final quarter of the virus year 2020. Side three and four were recorded and mixed by Masami Akata at Momobabao House, Tokyo, Japan, January 2021. So I apologize if this is not a collaboration, but I think they might have just, I don't know. I, I, I apologize. But uh, it was mastered by Michael Rosen. It's...
Yeah, I, I'm kind of guessing I, I need to get the, uh, the vinyl for all the proper information, and I would love to have this on vinyl. I just knew it would sound great on cassette. And, uh, yeah, there's a, pretty much this is like modern hippie music. Like, seriously, I mean, this, it all goes out, like, there's a bunch of organizations that help heal the earth from the blood, the blood wounds of man cruel. Yo, that see, that's fuck. If you know what that is, that's cool as shit. And if you don't know what that is, just look up Man Curl. And oh yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, you kind of get that punk vibe that exists within also. Man is the bastard with bastard noise. And when it comes to Mersbow, like, fuck. <laughs> Seriously, just like, fuck. It, it, he's. It's just, it's insane. What he's capable of doing is just ridiculous. And just the fact this is four tracks. Of just absolute madness. It's great. It's fucking great. And if you're like a true fan of extreme music, and what I mean by that is you can go from Conqueror to Secret Stairways, to, you know, Acid Witch. Like, you have an open mind musically. You know, you'd like Godflesh. <laughs> Pretty much, that's like one of my, like, if you like Godflesh, check this out. <laughs> like, when it comes to more experimental stuff, I feel like that's a really good way to get people interested. Like, whoa. Because, like, I, I forget who I was talking to. They were like, dude, I didn't know they used drum machines that early. I was like, yeah, you know, drum machines have been around for a very long time. But the original drum kit from hell, I would say, belongs to God Flesh and just machine. I think that's, like, the coolest fucking thing. Like, just naming, you know, one of your personnel, like, just machine, always put a smile on my face. And, like, it's just so cool. Like, machine rhythm. G. Christian Green, bass. Paul Novell, guitar. Justin Broderick, guitar and vocals. Like, that's just, it's so awesome. And again, if you've never seen the film, Altered States, go check that out. It gets a little weird in the middle, like the second half of the movie's kind of, it's a little weird, it just gets a little out of control, but it's still, it's a fun watch. But like, if you're trying to get into experimental music, and you don't really know where to start, this is really a good starting point. Although, it's fucking gnarly as shit. Like, at, there's plenty of points on here where it's like, oh my goodness. This hurts my ears. And yeah, there's some, you know, there's certain equipment that's used at a very, like, high frequency. And if you're not used to that type of stuff, it's it might legitimately hurt your ears a little bit. So... Be a little bit careful when I say maximum volume yields maximum results. That's a sun quote, but I 
stand behind that quote. Like, I I love listening to music at maximum volume. My ears are probably like, fuck you. Like, I, I know they're like, fuck you. My hearing is terrible. And like, this is just, if you're in a band, wear earplugs. I don't. Still, I still don't, but I don't really play live like I used to. And with Frog Mist, though, I, I'm going to need earplugs. It's, it's actually kind of essential. I'm not trying to go deaf, because especially what we're going to be doing live with Frog Mist, because it's going to be noise drone, and just maybe some vocals, but, um, yeah, still trying to get some actual dates secured, so if you are interested in booking Frog Mist, because I would love to do a record, well, a tape release show, but Here's the. Th I don't know how we would how we would do it. Like, are the tapes are already finished, so we would have. I'm down to play today, if it wasn't thanks killing. I watched that movie last night. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> it was ridiculous, but it was a fun. It was a fun time. I have to thank Mike the Horror Geek. For that recommendation. But when it comes again to Bastard Noise and Merzbow, there's no boof here. Retribution by all other creatures is just a total love letter to extreme music. It's a giant fuck you, pretty much, to everything else just in the world and especially in the music scene. And I absolutely fucking love it. This is one of my favorite re releases of the year. And along with the new God is War EP. Well, the, the latest. I think he digitally released another EP. But alongside this, which is more like rhythmic noise and whatnot. And you know, power electronics. This is a split of every, like, everything's in here. There's harsh noise, there's rhythmic noise, there's vocals that straight up sound like black metal, like, it's, it's fucking gnarly. It has everything when it comes to noise that you could want, and Again, if you don't know, Man is the Bastard. Man is the Bastard is the power violence, pretty much, version of Bastard Noise. It gets kind of confusing sometimes, to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, sometimes I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, fuck! Especially, like, when I'm talking to somebody that's, like, really into, like, Bastard Noise and, like, Man is the Bastard, I'm like, fuck, like, I, I know these releases, but, damn, like, I gotta give, like, hails to m my buddy Tony, just, he's very knowledgeable when it comes to Man is the Bastard, Bastard Noise, and he's one of the reasons, you know, I really got into my little, well, I wouldn't say little, what really got me into power violence, I would say I have to give a lot of thanks to Tony. Like, I knew a couple bands, like, obviously Spaz and shit like that. But he got me into, like, you know, more of, like, the gritty, like, basement recording shit. And, like, yeah, just super, super cool tunes. And one of those projects you know, ended up being Bastard Noise coming from Man is the Bastard, who I didn't know about. Because, again, 
they're one of those projects along with capitalist casualties. Like, again, that split. If you want to get into power violence, that's, like, probably one of the best places to start. But uh, I would also say, you know, weekend nachos, worthless. If you, like, really don't, like, if you're just looking for something, like, crushing yeah we we can nachos has you covered and they do they do what they do extremely well especially on worthless i fucking love that record but this split slash compilation right here fan fucking tastic bastard noise and mersbow retribution by all other creatures Four tracks of just madness. Pure sonic poison. Animals running human factory farms. This is how human waste rolls. Zoo noise part one and zoo noise part two. Make up this monstrosity of electronics. And just fucking gnarly inventive savagery through sonic access like and what i mean by sonic access it's a little nod to crowbar sonic access in its purest form but there's nothing pure about this split aside from how gnarly it is this is otherworldly at times it sounds like a fucking freight train that happens to also be like a nightmare i know that doesn't make sense but yeah this is legit like an auditory hallucination of a bad trip but in the best way possible it's like a bad trip that teaches you your tolerance level like, if you can't make it through the A side here, then maybe this type of music isn't for you. Like, I'm just saying, like, check this out digitally before you pull the trigger physically. But I personally stand behind my belief that noise sounds the best on cassette. I just end vinyl. Because, like, I am obsessed with how good my Wolf Eyes LP sounds. It It's just, it's, like, perfect. It, I can't explain it. It's just so sick sounding. It's way better than I thought it was going to sound, to be honest with you. And even the new God is War, like, the production, fantastic. And the production on here also fantastic. You can hear everything that's going on. And when I say everything, I mean everything. But if you are new to both of these bands, I would also say this is a great starting point. As gnarly as this is, I find it to be digestible enough that I can send this to people that I know have never heard these bands before and hopefully they're being honest but the people I have sent this to normally hit me back and are like that was fucking sick like whoa I didn't know this even came out is the usual answer I get but a lot of the times it's I I've actually never I've never listened to Bastard Noise or Murs Bow. It's like here here's your fucking chance. And again, be careful if you're wearing like noise canceling headphones and like you have it turned up to maximum levels, you're probably gonna have a like for a couple of hours afterwards. So I would, you know, figure out your tolerance for volume. But yeah, 
Retribution by All Other Creatures by Bastard Noise and Merzbell. One of my favorite releases of the year. And just some top shelf extreme music. But of the noise variety. And just remember, time is running out. Noise is music. Thank you to Miss Hewitt for grabbing this for the channel. So stoked on this release. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. There's still copies of this available on cassette, CD, vinyl. I don't know how. I legit thought this would sell out almost immediately. But I guess people are more caught up in whatever's popular right now. I think they're doing Gloom Lord reissues and shit tomorrow. I'm all good with that, thankfully. Thanks to Phantom Slaughter and stuff. But, like, for those of you that missed Gloom Lord and stuff like that, I, I'm pretty sure that's what you're getting tomorrow from 20 bucks spin. But, um, I mean... I love Gloom Lord by Worm. Like, this is my go to Worm release. And, like, I've only listened to Blue Nothing a couple of times. Like, I still need to review this for you folks. But, like, I remember last time getting the Forever Glade promo tape, and just. I fucking love the promo tape. And I still, like,. I listen to the promo tape more than the regular album version, and I know they sound exactly the same pretty much, but, like, I don't know. I'm just weird like that sometimes. But I did see, uh, like, some Gloom Lord error promo photos, so just keep your eyes open just in case you don't have Gloom, the, like, Iron Bonehead originally put out gloom lord on vinyl i don't feel like pulling it out but uh this is one of the head split reissues i have a green one too i think somewhere but these are the ones i listen to on tape mostly gloom lord but i just wanted to throw that out there real quick just because I saw it, and I know not everybody has, like, Instagram and shit. So, I wanted to just throw that out there. But, yeah. I'm not a fan of Relapse Records still, but this was a release where it was like, fuck yeah. Like, awesome. Putting out something that's obviously not made to make money, really. You know what I mean? This is for... The underground. This is for a specific crowd base and fan base. Not for everybody. And I just think that, you know, these days, that takes balls doing like a double LP of a release this fucking savage. But, you know, I'm glad that they did. But... I just wish, you know, there's certain releases in their back, in Relapse Records back catalog where it's like, why is this just not readily available? Just, like, certain records, in my opinion, they just need to always be in print. Like, finally, finally, on vinyl. I don't know how this isn't sold the fuck out, but, like, I had to go through Extremely Rotten Productions, and totally worth it, Immolation, Dawn of Possession on gold vinyl. Yes. Fucking yes. But that's gonna be a big unboxing video. That's gonna be my birthday package. And when the time comes, we'll go over it. But for now, Bastard Noise and Merzbell, Retribution by all other creatures.
to me, this is an A an A plus. Like I fucking love this shit. But again, I'm kind of biased. I love both projects, and I love this release right here. It legit sounds like just auditory hatred, and it's fucking gnarly. So, it's Thanksgiving, so, you know, have a good holiday if that's your fucking thing. And if you want to fight any family members, here's something I have to recommend to you. If you're looking for a fist fight today, throw on the new God's Hate <laughs> record. I mean, unless you have some, like, Marauder lying around, and then throw on Master Killer and just start fighting whoever, whichever family member you have beef with. But, um, otherwise, put on Finish the Job and, yeah, Finish the Job. Make them pay. Or, you know, you could... Just go in your car and put on Be Harder right in to finish the job. But unless your car has a magical turntable, then... I don't even know if this has a... This has to have a CD release, but... Yeah. God's hate. If you got Marauder and Hate Breed... Early hate breed together, mashed them up with Paul Bearer from Sheer Terror on vocals. You would have God's hate. Cause somebody was like, "Why do you like God's hate?" Cause I was like, "Dude, it sounds like fucking Marauder with Sheer Terror vocals." Like, yeah, I, I'm probably going. It's one of those records too. You kind of gotta shut your brain off. It's just fun. It's just a bunch of fucking heavy ass breakdowns and it's just enjoyable and you know you have ex members of nails fucking brody king yeah sick sick fucking lineup and just heavy heavy hardcore heavy metallic hardcore i know some of you are gonna be like that's not hardcore that's hardcore but i would call it metallic hardcore but Bastard Noise and Mersbow are just on the complete opposite end of that spectrum with Retribution by all other creatures. Sorry this video is so long. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Have a good holiday. Hail.